Dominic Kaima is a mechanic who started a small business two years ago. On Sunday, he and several others were given handwritten eviction notices that appeared to have come from the provincial administrator. The notices bear the title of the person, but not the name. Dominic says the eviction forms were signed before his details were written on the paper. He is questioning the authenticity of this eviction notice. Like 160 others, Dominic came here 15 years ago when all this was swampland. Company M come, provincial government M come, even the now. It don't go where. M all police give me more It took nearly two decades to clear the area, drain the water, and reclaim the land. In a month's time, Pauline Nelson will have to find another place to move. She has children and she doesn't know yet where they'll go. For now, it's not clear who wants the land and for what purpose. But what we do know is that this large portion of land sits near the biggest port development in Papua New Guinea, a project that is expected to bring in a large amount of revenue for the Morobi province. And as it's turning out, many people will be displaced as the expansion in this part of Lay City continues. Scott Wade, National MTV News, Lay.